Hi guys. So I know that a lot of us right now during remote learning are using Google Classroom. So some of you have asked if EverFi actually connects directly to Google Classroom. It does not, but I'm gonna show you some ways that you can post assignments, you can keep track of student grades and making sure that your announcements are linking directly to EverFi's platform. So let's check it out. So before even getting into Google Classroom, what you want to do is you want to set up your EverFi teacher account. You want to add any courses to your dashboard that you want the students to work on. Certainly take time and dig through any of the resources or even view the course before you actually assign anything. If you're familiar with EverFi, um, then what you could do is go directly to classes and you'll want to create a class first for your students to join. So I'm going to create this class for my sixth grade. I believe they're going to start in April. There's about mm, probably 60 kids, so I'll say more than 45. And again, this is for my sixth grade students. Again, all just a survey so that we understand where it's fitting. But now I want to actually add the courses to the sixth grade cohort. I'm going to have them work on some SEL, maybe some STEM. I'll even throw in financial literacy because that's great for math. Let's keep their nutrition up. And then digital wellness is always important. So I can have several classes um, or courses onto one cohort. Once I check mark all of those, I'm going to click the blue button add. Again, just double check that these are the classes that I want my students to have access to. And then I'll press the create button. What this is going to do is it's going to say at the top, it'll um, open up a notification, and then it's going to give me my registration code. So this is that unique registration code just for that sixth grade class that I created. I can go ahead and copy it from here. I can exit out. It will send me a confirmation email, but I can always go back to my classes tab click on that registration code and retrieve it again in case I need it. Now you're definitely going to need this registration code for your Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now I'm going to come over to my Google Classroom. Hope you, hopefully yours looks a little prettier than mine, but I created my class already. So this is going to be for those sixth graders. I'm going to go ahead and click into this class. So I can do a couple things here. I can make an announcement, maybe if it's about continuing work on my EverFi programs or maybe a way to extend the learning. But actually what I want to do here is I want to go up to my classwork and I'm going to create an assignment for my students. So here when I click Create, I will click on assignment. Not sure if this is going to be evaluated. You uh, choose, but within EverFi's lessons, each lesson has a pre and post assessment. So maybe you want to just put a note about that, but I'm just going to click uh, got it for now. What I'm going to call this is um, EverFi Remote Learning Resources. And then here in the instructions, this is where I'm going to provide for my students the steps to actually get into EverFi. So for this, I will type um, exciting announcement. You now have access to EverFi's digital lessons. I'm going to put in there for my students to go first to register because these are brand new students that have never been in to EverFi before, nor have they been into my class. So from here, I will tell them where to register. So please register at everfi.net. I will take them straight to the registration uh, page. 
using the code. And again, this is where I received that class code again, that registration code. So once I copy that, I can go back to my Google Classroom, put that code in. I'm also going to direct them what program or what course I want them to start with first. So I will say click the blue start button on Future Smart first and work through lessons one and two. So in here, you'll notice that I want to make sure that I tell them where to click the start button, what course that we're working on, and what lessons I want them to be completed. And then for my due date, I can make sure that those lessons one and two are completed maybe by Friday. If I wanted to put in a topic, I could. I'm going to leave this topic blank. But then in here, what I want to do is I want to add a quick start guide just in case my students need to see a visual. So I'll put in a quick start guide that I have from my files. I will upload that. And then just to make sure that there is no uh, discretion of where they're supposed to go. I'm also going to add a link and I want them to go to everfi.net. This will show the platform. So in case they don't wanna copy and paste it, they can click directly onto that link. And from here, if I wanted to put in a rubric, if I wanted to add any other announcements I could, I can even differentiate for which students I want to have access on Future Smart. Maybe I want to vary them. I'm going to go ahead and assign this to all of my students. So now they can see that the EverFi remote learning resources are on their assignments. I can also go back to my stream and that's going to come up first as my announcement. So let's talk briefly about what the student experience is. So once they receive that assignment, the announcement on Google Classroom, they click in the link or they go to everfi.net, they'll be taken to a page that says education is evolving. And remember, they need to register first. So when they click on the blue button register, it's gonna ask if they're a student learner or K-12 teacher. They're student learner, so that's where they're gonna put in their registration code. I'll click next. And it's gonna ask for their birth date. So why we ask for their birth date is if they are under the age of 13, it will not allow them to put an email address or their full last name in. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out as if I were a student. Now, I would also maybe make on your announcement that when they create their usernames and passwords, that they should use whatever is district provided. So they're not just willy nilly going and creating crazy names. So maybe I will put um, whatever that username and password is that I use for other programs and I'll click next. Once they click next, they will be entered into the student dashboard. You'll see again, all of those courses that I did assign them, but I wanted them to start on Future Smart, so I'll have them scroll down and click on that blue start button. So now let's take a look. I had my students register. They started working through the lessons. And now I want to take a look if they are working through lessons one and two, what their scores are. So I'm going to go back to my homepage, click on the reports tab. And in the reports tab from the drop down, I will select Future Smart because that's what I assigned to those students. And I can take a look that I had two students register. 
looks like Alyssa has worked through the post assessments for lessons one and two. Steve hasn't gotten there yet. If you notice that anything 70 or above is going to turn up in green, anything uh, 60 and below is going to turn up in red, meaning they did not pass. If I want to dig a little bit deeper into their progress, I can click on views and I'll take a look at the post stamped pre and post assessments. I can also take a look at the post assessment they did, but obviously didn't reach to the, or the pre assessments, but they didn't reach to those post assessments just yet. So what I can do here is I can download these grades. I can even download all of my students' grades as opposed to just one. And I can easily pop over to my Google Classroom, of which if I want to put in any grades, I can put them in here. I can also have students as opposed to turning in the grades, they can check up on their own progress. So maybe they're going to write a short reflection. Uh, maybe I want them to give me their grades themselves and put it in the class folder just so that I can get a little bit more from them. I can also do that. Now with Future Smart, it's a little bit different. The students will write reflection questions. So maybe I want to individually put these reflection responses onto a Google Doc, put it into the classroom folder so that other students can see their reflections, and that could be a discussion as well. All right, so there you have it. That's how you're going to use Google Classroom to make some announcements about EverFi. If you have any questions, if you have any best practices, I'm always learning too. Just contact me at the information below. We'll get you started and hope you have a great day. Thanks.